In this video, I'll show you how to use AM Tuner Logs to display horsepower and torque using the Virtual Dyno software. First thing you want to do is find a flat road surface and you want to accelerate in third gear at in between 15 to 2000 RPM all the way, in my case, to 10,000 RPM um, using 100% throttle. And once you collect the data log, you go to Logging in AM Tuner and open up the AM data. You want to just remove everything from the graph, then you want to load the data, open and replace this session. Go all the way down to this is my run that I did at 16 timing with 17 psi. And then you want to select the data you want to view in the graph. You want to view engine load, engine speed, O2 target, knock bolts, and O2 feedback. Oh, O2. And then you want to display Actually, you want to load throttle. Now, on, on throttle, you want to match a flash. So, this shows that at this point here is the 100% throttle, and you want to view this section. So, you want to click right here, making a line, and then hold down shift and move over to the next, to the other side, highlight that, and then you want to zoom zoom selection. And I like to zoom more, so select shift, hold shift, and then click on the left mouse, and then zoom to selection. You want to go to knock bolts, um, go to properties, and then you want to make sure auto, the, the minimum and maximum are unchecked. And you want to select the maximum to three and hit OK. Um, the reason why I like this is that it's easier to look at the knock bolts. You want to you bring the graph of the knock bolts down to the middle of the graph. And it's just easier to look at. So once you zoom in on the graph and load the appropriate data um, to output to virtual dyno, you need to output into a CSV file, and you go to File, Export CSV, and you want to make sure to deselect all, and then you want to choose engine load, engine speed, O2, and throttle. And then you want to make sure you choose comma, separated, um, output to real scale values, use fastest rate, export time column. This is really important that you choose the export time column and then um, type of export. You want to make sure you choose the view range from 1 minute 35 to 144. And then hit export. Um, this I will call it 2013 08 23. Okay. Now that's ex all that data is exported. You want to go open up Virtual Dino. You download this. Um, the current version right now is 1.24. Um, you want to go to Load Runs. The data will be under Libraries. Documents, AM, AM data, and CSV. And that is the CSV file. Um, you want to open this um, and look at the headings. So I'm, open it, I'm opening this under Excel. And we have seconds, engine load. Seconds is, is the time, engine load is the the boost engine speed is RPM, O2 is the air to fuel ratio, and this is a throttle. 
and it should be at 100%. And go back to Virtual Dino, cancel out of here. If you want to set up Virtual Dino, let's go to Options, Column Profiles, and Time. Yeah, the column is in seconds. RPM is Engine Speed. Go to Space 1, I believe. Double check, go to Space 1. Um, TPS is Throttle. Boost is Engine Mode. And it hit Save. So you have second engine speed, O2, pound sign, phase one, throttle, and engine load, and save that. Okay, so now um, under virtual dyno, you know, let's go and set up your car. I'll go to profile, add profile, and the car will be a Honda S2000. 2000, 2003. Gear would be third gear, car weight, occupation, occupant weight, tire height. It's two 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 five five forty. Okay, and the final drive is the uh, the gear ratio on a stock gear ratio. Um, on this page here. On AP1, the final drive is 4.1. Uh, the primary gear reduction is 1.16. So to get that number, 1.16 times 4.1 equals 4.756. So that's why we have the number 4.756 on the final drive. In my case, my uh, final drive, on my drive, I have a 3.9 differential. So I will go 1 point times 3.9, 4.524. Final drive is 4.524. Car year 2000, safe profile in the 65. And then go to virtual dyno, load runs, load up this DSP file. And since it can't load because it's been used, exactly. So, file load run. Go to options. I you know, like the front mine to dyno. You could select virtual dyno or Mustang dyno. Mustang dyno to get a lower horsepower output. O2 pound one. Columns and profile. O2 panel. There we go. Now the O2 map is shown. Peak is about around 493 horsepower or 330. Funnel drive 4.52. 